Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you're having a fantastic day. Y'all, let's brighten his day. Stay tuned. Welcome everyone. I am so glad that you're here. I love crafting and I love crafting with you. So today, again, we're going to make something for him. We're going to make something super sweet that he can set on his desk, he can set at his workstation, or he can place on the bedside table. Just a little reminder that someone is thinking of him and someone wishes him well. And so here's what I'm talking about. This is just a simple little A-frame stand for his desk, his table, his workstation, wherever he wants to put it. And I'll give you a closer look of how this works once we get ready to go over what's needed. But this is such a sweet and thoughtful little item. Doesn't take a whole lot to make it. You can make up bunches of these. You can even make these with messages for the different seasons. Doesn't necessarily have to be for any special occasion, but anytime that we make something like this, it's a daily reminder to whomever we give it to that we're thinking of them. So y'all know what time it is, it's time to make it. All right y'all, so here is a closer look at this super simple desk stand that we're going to make just for him. And it's not going to be a whole lot of anything, but it will pack a punch with words of encouragement, sentiments, expressions of love, just wonderful little sayings that we're going to get by using Project Life cards. So the way that it works is I just have a whole bunch of different cards on the inside. This one says, you make my heart sing. I left this part blank so that if you wanted to add some stickers or a little photograph, you can. But throughout this book, I have included some blank pages, then some pages that offer words of encouragement. Just so many wonderful ways that we can take our Project Life cards or the three by four cut aparts and use them on this project. Super simple to make. It would make an awesome little desktop reminder to the person that you're giving it to them, just how much you're thinking about them and how much you love them. So here's what we're going to need to make it. So I am using Project Life cards and I got these cards from Tuesday morning before the pandemic ever occurred. It's funny how we relate everything to pre-pandemic, post-pandemic, but long before we ever went on a lockdown, I had purchased a whole bunch of Project Life kits from Tuesday morning. I believe I might have bought this kit two to three years ago, probably more like three years ago, but you get so many cards on the inside and that's what I'm going to use on this project. But if you don't have Project Life cards and you have cut aparts, all you have to do is take some of your cut apart sheets and cut them out and use them for this project because these cards are three by four and a lot of the cut aparts that we work with in our paper pads or on our single sheets are also three by four. And how many you put on? Totally up to you. But I also decided that I wanted to use this chipboard piece of ephemera. And I'm just going to put that on the top so that it will hang down and add another layer of cuteness. And then we'll need a piece of cardstock, decorative cardstock, that measures 6 by 12. One piece of chipboard that measures 1 by 4. And two pieces that measure 5 and a half by 4. And then I have two one inch binder rings. All right, y'all, so I have attached the adhesive to the back of the two pieces that measure five and a half by four. I am going to go ahead and peel away my tape backer. And because we are using that collateral rust paper from Chow Bella, I am not concerned about being very pristine with this project. I'm actually going to make it very rustic and keep in line with the grungy look of the paper design. So I'm going to take this piece and when I put it down, I'm going to put it down, giving myself about an eighth of an inch in spacing. And then I'm just going to stand it and I'll fold over just like that. And then I'm just going to angle on my edges. And you guys will see what I mean about not being as pristine as I would with another project in just a minute. So now I'm going to take my glue. I'm going to place my glue on my flaps and fold them over.
And then we'll do this one as well. And now I'll take my glue and put it here as well. And we're going to fold this over. And we'll do the same thing here. Let's get that folded over and we will get this part done. So now that we have this part, we can fold it just like that into the tent shape. And while I have it in the tent shape, I'm going to go ahead and use my Crocodile Big Bite and punch my holes. And then I'll come over to this side, trying to get these even. I'm not always even when I do these, but we'll try. So I'm gonna say that's even enough. It's a little bit wonky, but that'll be okay. So now that we have our tent like that, I am actually going to take this one inch piece and we're going to place it on the inside just like that as a stabilizer. So what I'm going to do is take my glue and you guys will notice that I didn't put any paper on this and I didn't put down a liner on the inside because we are going total grunge here and we really don't need to. So I am just going to add some glue and we're going to take this piece and I'm going to put it on the inside wherever you want it. And then I'll bring this piece over and we'll hold it until the two stick. And now our A-frame is complete. This is going to dry nicely. We can go ahead and take our Project Life cards and all I'm going to do, I'm going to take one of my cards and I am just going to mark my hole spot. So I'm just going to punch my holes right there where I made that mark. So this time when I punch the hole, I'm going to make my holes using the 3 16th setting on my punch. So I'm going to punch the first one as my guide so I can check out my placement. Then I'm going to take my rings and I'm going to put my rings in. And when I put the rings in, I'm going to put them in so that that humpy part goes in the back. So now that I have the rings in, I'm going to take my card and I'm just checking to make sure that I have a good placement. And it looks like I do have a good placement. So now what I can do is I can take this piece and use it as the template to cut through my other Project Life cards. So I am just going to take my hole punch find that hole and punch. And then I'll do the same thing on this side. Find my hole and just punch. Then I also want to use this so I am just going to punch a little hole in this piece so that it can dangle. And so we can just take these and place them however we want. So I know that I am going to be placing just a whole bunch of word cards in this one. And I'm not putting them in in any particular order. I just want some cards and then some blank cards so that we can add photos if we want. And so now I have all of my cards and however many you want to put on is completely up to you. And so now I can take my wonderful cards and I'm just going to put them on a few at a time. I can take these 
and just add them to the rings. And then just keep adding as many cards as I want. And then I'm just going to take this little heart here and I'm just going to let it dangle. Now I can close my rings. And now we have this sweet little desktop tent frame for dad that he can just flip and flip. And we have all of these wonderful words of encouragement. We have places where if you want to put a photo, you can. So many different things that you can do with this. And you saw how easy it was to make, but it's little things like this that mean a lot. Sometimes we want to believe that our guys don't like the touchy-feely, the mushy, but they do. And they love receiving things like this just as much as you do. So I am going to bring that first one back in so that you guys can see all of this awesome goodness. And when we stand them up, this is what we have. So we have hello, hello, and then we have a whole bunch of wonderful sentiments and words. And for this project, I did use the Collateral Rust paper collection from Chow Bella. So guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this awesome little project. And if you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.